Hi everybody, I'm Sean Rice with GoDaddy's Design Foundations team. Today I'm going to show you how to make regression tests in your libraries, which will help you identify problems before your designers start running into things once they hit that update button. Okay, so we've got a component that I've created here. It's got several variants. It's got a lot of properties. You may have even more variants, and it's especially important when you have extremely large sets of of uh, components and their different variants to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, PropStar plugin, which is really great. It shows, uh, well, you'll see, I'm going to create a standalone table here of these, uh, this component and all the available properties. It does this neat grid here that, uh, well, basically explodes all the possible variants here. So what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, instance table. I'm going to rename it to say defaults, uh, defaults test. And we're going to leave everything in the default state for that one. And then this one's going to be an overrides test. Okay, so uh, I'm actually going to set the background of these as well, just so it's a little bit easier later on to use. Um, well, you'll see some, some cool tools that, that uh, come out of this. All right, so the defaults I'm going to leave like, like they are. So easy peasy, right? Okay, the overrides test, I do want to change some things. So I'm actually going to find and do a find and replace. I've got another plugin uh, called, well, I'm going to select this guy and then I'm going to run my plugin called find and replace. Or actually, yeah, find and replace. And then I'm going to find and selection, primary button. And I am going to replace it with override or overridden. Let's do an exclamation point in there just for grins. I need to not update the layer name. Okay, I'm going to hit replace all. And it should replace all of my instances in there. And it did. Good. Okay. So now we've overridden the text. Hooray. We're, we're going to just override the things that make sense here. We're not overriding everything, everything, everything. Bam. Okay. And now I'm going to override the icon. So instead of using the resize icon, let's use something really obvious. How about small business filled? Cool. Um, and I think that's all I need to override. So labels already set to overridden. Has icon is mixed. State is mixed. Okay, great. So I've overridden the icon where it shows up. And yeah, you can see that it's different. Great. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to create some labels here components that I like to use. So this is going to be my uh, defaults test. Just so that people know when they come in here, these are for testing. Let's call this a regression test. Because we're seriously looking to see if the changes that we're about to make are going to cause a regression, meaning a problem with the button that takes things well, that breaks things. Let's do defaults regression test. This is going to be our overrides. So typically when you run into problems, it's with the overrides. So, all right, great. We've got those regression tests set up, and these are obviously our components. I'll just label them. Why not? We're labeling everything today. Components. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to create a, uh, a branch. Since we're just kind of messing around here, I'm going to add updates. Now, what you're going to do typically when you do uh, when you create these things is you're going to make some changes, right? So I'm going to set some defaults a little bit differently. Maybe we'll default to, you know what, let's default to having the icon on and see what that does to our um, see what that does to our different components. Looks like doesn't do anything to these, which is good. So let's change a couple of other things. What if I change the, the text here to say something different? Actually, I'll do that here. So we're going to change the default text. How about just button? And let's change the name of this property to something else as well. Um, let's call it text. Let's just see what that does with our different um, within our different components here. 
you know what, let's change our icon as well. Why not? Instead of being resized by default, let's make it. Okay. General. Let's make it safety. Okay. Cool. So we've got new buttons, new icons. We just want to make sure that these changes propagate out the way that they're supposed to and not in some unintended way. So it looks like it's maintaining our overrides, which is great. This is why we test it, because we want to make sure that the overrides go through all the way, even when we make some fun fundamental changes to the component. This is especially important when you're not using component properties like this, uh, because a lot of those a lot of times you've got a one-off layer that's got its own, got a special layer name. And if you make the layer name a little bit different, sometimes things don't translate over. So um, let's say, let's say we've, we want, um, let's change a couple things here just to, just to adjust the sizes here. And um, maybe we accidentally did that, right? When we're working on it, sometimes things, sometimes we make a mess. So I've changed the sizes of the buttons just slightly or maybe a little more than slightly just for this, but that does happen, right? Okay, so when you get ready to merge is, so you've done all your done all your work on your buttons, you're now getting ready to merge. Let's, uh, let's hit review and merge changes. This is where things get really cool. So, all right, great, we've got some updates on page one. Okay, actually, so it's showing us what's changed here, obviously. And we can actually do an overlay on this. So we've got the button primary. You can see things are just changing to be to say button. That's the that's our component, which is I mean that's okay. Especially sometimes you'll see things change even more. Here we are. Here's our affected items. When you get in here, this is where it gets really obvious. Especially when you use the overlay, you can see that there's a difference between those. You're like, wait a second, why do those buttons change sizes? And you can see which variants specifically changed, which is really helpful as well. If you need to pan around and be like, all right, this one's got a problem. Okay, it's external when it's active. Okay, let's go check that one out. Oh, it's both of them when they're active and standard size. Okay, let's go check that out. So you can go and see if that was something that you intended to change or not. Now let's actually, let's change a couple of colors just to make it you know, just for fun, right? I'm just going to change this from black to, uh, let's change it to like some dark green color. Okay, great. Let's do that. Let's go back and review and merge our changes again. And you'll be able to really see that change, even when it's just something color related. So affected items on page one. Here we go. I like the overlay view because you can really see, okay, these greens over here, uh, those things obviously changed color. We've got some things changing sizes. Stuff is a mess all over the place. I really need to really need to fix this. So that's what the overlay or overrides, and you can even check it with the defaults too. So the defaults are going from black to green, and they're, you know, obviously we made a lot of changes, so you can see all the different all the different changes kind of piling up here. So this is why we do the regression testing. It's really easy to tell what changed and to make sure that the things that changed were the things that we wanted to change and not some of those unintended things. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. Once you hit that merge button, of course, all that stuff goes goes in. We're not going to merge it back because that doesn't really make a lot of sense for what we're doing today. Um, but in any case, um, thanks for watching. Uh, hit me up in the comments if you got questions, any other ideas about how you can use this. Um, I'm Sean Rice with Design Foundations at GoDaddy. Thank you very much.